Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations where we generally look at one or another of the lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer. What is known as the daily office lectionary today for Wednesday. Let's go ahead and take a look at the lesson that's assigned for evening prayer from the book of Ecclesiasticus. Remember, Ecclesiasticus is a book, series of wisdom sayings uh, that are written for us in what are known as the deuterocanonical or apocryphal books. Uh, and these books are, are held as canonical as a part of the canon of the scriptures by the Roman Catholic, the Orthodox, and the Anglican churches, uh, which is, as we say, the overwhelming majority of Christians around the world. So uh, some Protestant Bibles do not have the book of Ecclesiasticus, which is a shame because this is good and godly teaching. Uh, Ecclesiastes 4.20. Observe the opportunity and beware of evil, and be not ashamed when it concerneth thy soul. For there is a shame which bringeth sin, and there is a shame which is glory and grace. Accept no person against thy soul, and let not the reverence of any man cause thee to fall. And refrain not to speak when there is occasion to do good, and hide not thy wisdom in her beauty. For by speech wisdom shall be known, and learning by the word of the tongue. In no wise speak against the truth, but be abashed of the error of thine ignorance. Be not ashamed to confess thy sins, and force not the course of the river. Make not thyself an underling to a foolish man, neither accept the person of the mighty. Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Be not hasty in thy tongue, and in thy deeds slack and remiss. Be not as a lion in thy house, nor frantic among thy servants. Let not thine hand be stretched out to receive, and shut when thou shouldst repay. Set thy heart upon thy goods, and say not, I have enough for my life. Follow not thine own mind and thy strength to walk in the ways of the heart, and say not, Who shall control me for my works? For the Lord shall surely revenge thy pride. Say not, I have sinned, and what harm hath happened unto me? For the Lord is long-suffering. He will in no wise let thee go. Concerning propitiation, be not without fear to add sin unto sin. And say not, His mercy is great, he will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. For mercy and wrath come from him, and his indignation resteth upon sinners. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Okay, again, great stuff from top to bottom. Uh, but interesting, uh, there is a sin um, when people assume it's okay to sin because God will forgive them, right? Uh, this is something I think a lot of us perhaps do in the back of our mind. We think, well, it's just a little sin. It's not so bad. Or, you know, God's mercy is so great that, that I'm sure he can forgive me, right? And so we, we actually think, ah, so God couldn't ask me out for this. How could he not forgive me? Right? So that we presume that God will forgive us, and so we fall into sin. Right? So he says, uh, Say not, I have sinned, and what harm hath happened unto me for the Lord's long suffering, and he'll no wise let thee go. So, in other words, you know, just because nothing happens bad at first, uh, God is it's because he's patient with us. That uh, doesn't mean we shouldn't repent right away. And then, um, and then don't say his mercy is great, and he'll be pacified for the multitude of my sins. Right? We don't just say, well, because he has mercy, I can do these things. Right? Um, that's the sin of presumption. And it, unfortunately, what we do is when we start excusing ourselves for all these little sins, it gets harder and harder for us to repent, to resist evil, and we find ourselves further and further away from the Lord. So, uh, today's Wednesday, uh, and so we are on our way back from Wisconsin today. There'll be no public worship at St. John's, but please keep us in your prayers for travel mercies as we head back to Michigan. Uh, and God willing, uh, we'll have services tomorrow at St. John's. But let's pray for each other, and may God give you a wonderful Wednesday full of blessings.